Alright guys, let's hop into this 46 normal formation. Welcome to the uh, Scheme of the Week defense and the 46 normal. And we're going to be taking a look today at the Fire Zone 3. That's our base zone blitz. And uh, we like this blitz as a start out. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to show you a blitz that we can use to send two guys free at the quarterback. This one only shoots one guy free. So um, what we're going to do is, same setup we've been doing under the 46 normal baseline show blitz. Okay, then what we like to do is spread the D-line. We're going to crash the D-line out. Okay, so L1 up, L1 flick the right stick up, and then what you're going to do is you can um, you can contain to Mark Square if you want, and you contain uh, the left to screen defensive tackle if you want, or you could just leave them blitzing. It, it doesn't matter either way. And then what we like to make adjustments over here is we just need to re-blitz Anthony Spencer straight down, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to see uh, pressure coming in off the right edge. Now. Uh, obviously, you could do this a little bit easier. You don't have to do the contains. It's an extra setup, but I like to do them just to give us a little better, uh, better pass coverage. Uh, the double spy concept, I'm, I don't think it works from this formation, unfortunately, because you see he gets over there. I mean, well, it kind of works, but not really. I'd rather just guarantee the pressure, but if you guys like the double spy concept, uh, go ahead and try it out, where you just put the back set, two backside guys on spies instead of contains. But overall, I really like this uh, this fire zone three. Uh, just running it like, just running it the way I said it, and uh, using the contains because uh, if they run a screen, if they run a screen to the left side of the screen, um, you know, with the contain now, that's going to be able to lock it up. And, and the blitz is again, it's a simple overload concept to one side of the field. And uh, you see, you have good coverage. If they try to go over top. Or if they try to, you know, hit you over the middle, this is a really good blitz to throw at your opponent. And this is what I like to use in situations where it's third and long, and I want to see if they're blocking halfbacks or what they're doing as far as that's concerned. And so I'll send this pressure, and uh, it, it comes in pretty quick, guys. Um, you see the pressure, and and it's it's just a really good blitz to start the game out. Um, you know, the blitz we're going to talk about tomorrow is a nice closing closing part of the blitz. Uh, where we, we secure the game and, 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 and really end up taking over the game. So once again, guys, basic zone blitz out of the 4-6 normal. Baseline um, show blitz. Then what you're going to do is you're going to spread your defensive line and you're going to crash it out. And then you're going to re-blitz both defensive ends. And then what I like to do is get on the safety, uh, the free safety in the situation. And I like to pass commit out of zone blitzes. And I'll show you why I like to pass commit out of blitzes. Um, the reason I like to pass command out of blitzes and it, it, is if they call play action play, then if I don't pass commit, so watch what happens if I don't pass commit. So I'm not going to pass commit here. I, I don't pass commit. You see the blitz doesn't work. It gets picked up, and, and it's just not a good blitz. But now, when I send it now, uh, baseline show blitz, spread line crash out, re-blitz both defensive ends. And now I'm going to pass commit and run the play action. And now you're going to see pressure is going to come in still. So that's why we like to pass commit out of play action this season. Um, it's just a little better overall, especially if they're not blocking anybody behind it. You're going to send heavy pressure at the quarterback. Also, guys, this could also be used as a run defense. Uh, the run defense we talked about earlier, we could just make the purple spy. We don't even have to globally re-blitz the linebacker straight down. We have good coverage overall here. Just the flats on the right side need to be bottled up. So, just something to think about. I mean, you could use this the same way we like to use the cover three. And just, you know, if they decide to pass, you just play coverage with your guy. But uh, overall, guys, this is a really good play. Uh, you want to add this to your arsenal. Again, set up as follows. Baseline show blitz. Spread defensive line. Crash defensive line out. Re-blitz both defensive ends. User the safety. And I like to put him to the right side of the center just because I'm paranoid about that this year. It seems like if you put your safety to the right side of the center, the blitzes work a little better. At least in my opinion they do. Um, just from what I've heard, from what I've seen, and from what I've actually experienced. Uh, I like to put him either directly over the center or right to the right of the center. And uh, I, I really like that concept. So, anyways, guys, you can add this play to your arsenal. This is the basic zone blitz out of the uh, 46 normal formation. And we like to use this in situations where we want to bring pressure, but we don't have to send six. Um, this is a really good complement to the basic zone coverage, basic man coverage, and the base play out of the 46 normal package. Once again, guys, if you're new to the YouTube channel, go ahead and check out some of the other videos at the YouTube channel. It's going to give you some insight as to what we do here. And then also, guys, if you're members of the YouTube channel and you want to get involved, hit me up on my email, 
And lastly, guys, if you have anything to submit to me, any any ideas, any any anything at all, anything that you guys want, need, whatever, email me. And then lastly, uh, please share this video on Twitter to allow people who don't know about my YouTube channel to see it and maybe learn something from it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.